albatross is one of the world's most spectacular birds. They breed on land but spend most of their time at sea and can live up to 60 years. When raising their young, they're capable of flying several thousand kilometres in one flight in search of food. Because they're such long distance travellers, they frequently encounter long line fishing boats. The waters off Uruguay are a popular migration destination for albatross from around the world. This is a feeding ground for many species of seabirds from all around the globe. Many of these species are associated with longline fisheries. In our region, the most important species are the black brow albatross from the Malvinas, Falkland Islands, the wandering albatross from South Georgia Islands, and also species from New Zealand, like the royal albatross. As a result of longline fishing, 19 of the world's 24 albatross species are now endangered, and thousands of these magnificent birds are being killed every year. At the moment, we're 135 miles east of Uruguay on the fishing grounds, uh, where they target um, broadbill swordfish and various species of tunas and blue sharks. And we're here to do a, um, an experiment on the seabird avoidance effectiveness of a new uh, technology, recently developed technology, which is the machine on my left. This is the underwater bait setter, also known as the capsule. It's a baited hook deployed underwater through a stainless steel capsule, a revolutionary new device designed to reduce the number of seabirds that die needlessly in longline fishing in the southern hemisphere. In typical longline fishing, the deckhand simply throws the baited hook overboard. Seabirds see the floating bait as food, swallow it, become hooked and drown when the longline sinks. Every year, hundreds of millions of hooks are set in this way for tuna and swordfish. The bait setter aims to avoid this danger by setting the hooks deep underwater where the seabirds can't get to them. The machine is simple to operate and after the initial training period requires no extra work by crew than the previous method. Uruguayan fishing master Alfredo Olaya says the experience of working with the bait setter has been extremely positive for him and his crew. The most important thing for me at present is to have been able to introduce a new concept to all the sailors and members of the crew on board this vessel. That is, the concept of responsible fishing. It means to avoid in so far as possible seabird mortality, irresponsible fishing, for instance catching juveniles or fish that ought not to be caught, or discarding things at sea that ought not to be discarded. In the future, once testing is complete, this seabird-friendly device will be available for swordfish and tuna fishermen around the world. This is an important step to stem the catastrophic reduction in albatross numbers and to encourage the adoption of sustainable fishing practices.